Hi there, so today I'm going to do a makeup from the Mortal Instrument, which is Lily Collins' character. I can't remember her name, but I'll put it up here at the title of the video. So I've already got my foundation and everything on. I'm just going to put my NARS eyeshadow base on and we'll get going. This is a really nice um, everyday look. This. And it's quite simple as well. That's that one. For my overall base, I'm going to take this. This is an MUA um, matte eyeshadow in number 17. It's a kind of bone colour. So that's it there. And I'm going to take it on... Where is it? a MAC fluffy brush, a 217 brush, and just pop that all over the lid. This is just giving me a base colour. So that's that. Then I'm going to take Natural Collection Eyeshadow in Milk Chocolate. That's that there. And I'm going to... Oh, did you get a good look at that? I'm going to take that on the outer third of my eye. Or maybe about the middle outward. Just blend that. Again, just on the same 217 brush. I haven't changed brushes. Then I'm going to take a liner. I'm going to take this. This is Elf's Mineral Eyeliner in Coffee. But because it's got quite a wide, I don't know if you can see that, quite a wide tip, I'm going to run it along with a, on an eyeliner pen, um, on an angled brush. Just because I want the line to be slightly thinner. Pop that on an angle brush and I'm just going to take that along the top line. On the bottom line. Just a bit more on my brush. Then I'll do my other line. I want it a wee bit more smudgy on the outer corner here of my lid. So I'm going to take, you can take this on the same angled brush, but I'm just going to use a different one. I can find it. There it is. I'm going to take this MUE eyeshadow. This is another matte shadow, and this is in the colour 17. That's it there. Kind of chocolatey brown. Colour. This is a great alternative if you like NARS um, Coconut Grove, if you want like a drugstore drug alternative, this is a good one. Oops. I'm the eyeliner. So I'll just take this outer corner, bottom and top of the outer corner a wee bit more.
shadow. So, I'll just pick up my eyeliner. There we go. Then I'm going to take my mascara. And the one I'm using at the moment is Seventeen's Backlash Mascara. Now it claims um, for volume, length and definition. I'm actually not sure about this one. It's quite clumpy sometimes, so I'm not... Mind you, I have only used it a few times, so I'm not totally sure of it yet. See, it doesn't seem to be clumping now, but sometimes it... I think the more, the more you put on... I think if you just give it a light one coat, it's not as bad. That's it there. Then I'm just going to use my concealer. I've got Collection um, Lasting Perfection Concealer here in Fair One. Pop that on. Cool spot here. Just cover that up. I'll take my MAC 224 brush. I'm going to contour my cheeks. Because it doesn't look like she's got, she's not got any blusher or anything on. So I'm going to contour my cheeks. I'm just going to use my Elamasca Cream Pigment in Hollow with my Real Techniques Stippling Brush. I'll just pop it on with my finger first. Just doing the back of the cheeks here. Brush just to blend that in. And then on the lips, I'm going to use Revlon's matte lipstick and move it over. So just pop that on. And I'm going to take a lip gloss just in the centre of the bottom lip. And this is Nars's Sweet Dreams, which is a kind of pinky beige, kind of nude colour. Take that on the bottom. Leave it on the top as well. There we go. Just a bit of gloss there. And then to powder, I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder in Diffused Light on my Real Techniques Blush Brush. This will just take any shine, but not make you completely matte. And that is the finished Lily Collins, what the character from the Mortal Instruments series. Oops, got here. And I hope you enjoyed that. The next um, video will be lip gloss collection, so I hope to see you then. Don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.